Is this seat taken? I'm not looking for company. You're in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is, how many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? Ah. You're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some line drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us. You can't escape it. You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours! Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet. Let's get down to business, shall we? We, oui, I see it. These I'm on it. Let's get moving. Where are we headed? I spotted a German supply cache nearby. I am sure they won't mind if we borrow a few things. Hmm? Have you ever handled explosives before? I handled a bombshell once. Turned out she was married. This is serious. All right, keep your knickers on. I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you would. Man, look at these fucking Nazis everywhere, infesting my beautiful city like cockroaches. They certainly made themselves at home. It's time we showed them a different kind of hospitality. Like 
Ich greife seine schwache Seite an. What the fuck was all that about? Uh, not now. Let's go. The crates are up there, but we need to be careful. This... Irishmen, we could not allow them to sound the alarm. Send these fellas home to Mama. <laughs> now let's see what kind of party favors these crowds brought for us. Break open those crates. Those explosives will do nicely. Just remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. feeling, Irishman. I'm anxious to get the real show started. Ah, most men would have lost their nerve by now. Tell me, my friend, what were you doing in Ireland before you came to my country? I was a mechanic. Not that it's any of your business. A mechanic, eh? <laughs> well, the resistance could use a good mechanic. I didn't know there was a resistance in Paris. That's about to change. After tonight, the Nazis will have a new enemy to fear. The depot is just up ahead. We'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound. Tonight we change the course of history, my friend. <laughs> well, all we did is blow up a petrol station. Though I must admit it, that fireball did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. The 
Can you not feel it? Well, now that you mention it, it is just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free the city from fear, hours by hours, and street by street. Some rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Oh, why? If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey. Enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. I owe you a drink. I'm somebody nobody loves Oh me, oh my, my, my I'm somebody nobody loves I wonder why, why, why What's got into you, mate? What the hell are you doing? What's it bloody look like? The Aurora is my girl now, Sean. I will not have another man picking up her skirt. Oh, right? for fuck's sake, Jules. You're a driver now. You want respect on the circuit? You gotta stop thinking like a mechanic. All right, I'm put on airs like some posh wanker with a silver spoon up my arse. No thanks, brother. Veronique! Morning, beautiful. I'm coming along for the race. Vittore asked me to take pictures. Couldn't he wait till I'd made myself a little more decent? I don't believe in miracles. Oh, my sister got all the charm. And the brains. That's enough screwing around. We've got a race to win. You boys have work to do. Both of you. Say the word, boss. Let's get our girl on the trailer. I want to be across the border by sundown. Ready to move out? The truck is loaded and ready to roll. And the Aurora? Trust up tighter than a nun's arse. Good. Veronique and I will ride ahead. You boys take the truck and head east to the German border. From there, it's a straight shot to Saarbrücken. I've marked the location on your map. Come on, Sean, get in. Yeah, yeah.
This is it, my friend. After tomorrow, you'll be a famous driver, and I will be right there beside you, reaping the rewards of your success. Which rewards did you have in mind? The women! These German girls are crazy for racers. We'll have a dozen blonde beauties feeding us grapes, huh? <laughs> Assuming you don't fuck it up, of course. <laughs> well, I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jules. But there's more riding on this race than you get your hull knocked off. Vittori took a big gamble making me his wheelman. You're not gonna let him down, Sean. I hope not. Vittori's got bigger problems to worry about these days. Like what? Like the fact that a war could break out any minute, huh? Don't you read the papers? Just the sports section. These Nazi bastards are itching for a fight. If they get their wish, we're all gonna be out of a job. the border up ahead. Drive slow and try not to look suspicious. Right. I should have warned me leader, Hosen. I'm serious. These assholes are looking for any excuse to start shooting. the petrol fumes from here. You just keep your eyes on the track and the pedal to the floor, my friend. You let me worry about the rest. <laughs> you volunteering to be my manager? What's so funny? I didn't have to be a mechanic, you know. I could have done anything. The teacher used to say to me, Jules, all of these kids are stupid, especially your cousin Javier. But not you, Jules. You are too clever for your own good. I thought Veronique got the brains in the family. She likes to think so. What's her beef with me anyway? I can't put a foot right when she's her own. Hey, it's not just you. Veronique is tough on men in general. Why's that? One of these days I'll take you to my family's cabaret in Paris, huh? Veronique was raised in the Belle de Nuit. <laughs> Let's just say it was uh, not your typical upbringing. Sounds like fun. My friend, you have no idea. First round's on me. I'm glad you finally decided to join us. Just get my crazy sister out of here before she gets herself killed. I'm not going anywhere. Enough! I'm taking her upstairs. <laughs> If it's a fight... The barman's talking to the police. I'll take care of Veronique. You boys, get out of here! Bollocks! Watch it, you bloody... Fuck me, Skyler! Oh, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Nailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car! Hold on to your arses. 
Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. How long have you been in town? Mm, just got in, actually. I see you wasted no time running afoul of the local police. Oh, those fellas behind us. They're just having a laugh. Is this Desperado routine meant to be a turn-on? I don't know. Is it working? Will you watch the fucking world, please? Go radio ahead to set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. I teach you that in your posh English school. Oh, benefits of a higher education. Are all English girls as crazy as you are? Give us a bit of privacy, would you, Jules? Oh, I'd love to, as soon as you check these crowds. Fancy a nightcap. <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Uh, fuck this. I'm not going to be the third wheel. Take me back to the hotel. To bed. Keep the noise down, eh? I need some fucking rest. Come on up. I'll sneak you in the back door. Wouldn't have it any other way. <sighs> Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken a Where's the Duchess of York? <sighs> Don't know. She was gone when I woke up. To be honest, I feel a bit used. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Come on, let's get to the track. Bring it back, Bitte. I promise. Up in yours. Pretty your backside looks. Oh, I'm coming for you, Joker. Oh, fucking right. I can hardly believe my eyes! This 
illiterate Irish upstart threatened to besmirch the honor of the German people! Come on, girl. Hold it together. Top of the morning, shithead. Flying for the glory of the fatherland. place goes to Germany's Kurt Derka, driving the silver dart for Team Doppelsee. Here comes our boy. Let's find out what he's up to. Don't get too close. We don't want to spook him. Hang back a bit, but don't let him out of your sight. This isn't the first time I've run a tail, you know. Too close. Move up. Careful, we are too far back. We are too far back. Oh, my sister drives better than these. Step on it! Looks like he's headed out of town. There's only one place he could be going. The Double Sig Motor Works. That place is going to be crawling with crowds. This scheme of ours could get tricky. I've heard rumors about that place. Some people say they're making more than cars out there. The head of Doppelsieg has powerful friends in Berlin. Aye, Karl Eckhart. I saw him at the race with that banshee bodyguard of his. Franziska. She's one cold bitch. That's the motor works up ahead. Let's stash the car and take a closer look. Over there on the left. We don't want him to see us. Yours. Fancy a little exercise. I didn't come all the way out here for the view. Pretty rude of us to drop in without an invitation. I'm French. I'm supposed to be rude. Come on. Let's get over that wall. Looks like a good place to climb over. Where the fuck are you going? Stay out of sight! 
Give me a boost. Oh, fuck! You all right? Yeah, get over here. How did you learn to climb like that? Creeping out of bedroom windows at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you dead, my sister. Nice place. They should have a great view of the lake from up here. There it is. What do you say we take it for a little test drive? Right over that cliff? You can do the honors. I prefer to watch. Looks like I need to work on my parallel parking. Maybe we should leave a note, eh? Dear Wanker, sorry about the bang up. Send the bill to me arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me right arm to see the look on that tosser's face. That can be arranged, Herr Devlin. Shite. Hold on, Jules. Stay with me. Stop! Stop this! For God's sake, stop hurting him! John! I'm here, Jules. For God's sake! Jules! Your friend cannot hear you at the moment. I'm afraid the pain was more than he could bear. Francisca tells me you have been eager to see the look on my face. I hope you are not disappointed. What the fuck is going on here? Do you believe I spend every waking minute behind the wheel of a race car? <laughs> I have other, more practical talents with which to serve the Reich. My services are in great demand of late. Why are you doing this? I'm a patriot. You're a fucking animal. We are all animals. Beneath the skin. My godfather taught me that. He was a butcher, did you know? He taught me that the flesh holds no secrets once the skin has been removed. I had a long talk with your friend. He sang like a bird. But he could not tell me what I most want to know. And what is that? Bishop is not half as clever as he thinks he is. He imagines that we are all blind to his childish schemes. Typical British arrogance. Who the fuck is Bishop? Maybe you should be talking to him. Do not insult my intelligence. We know that you are a British agent. We know that you were sent here to conduct surveillance on this facility. What? You think I'm working for the damn Brits? You must be out of your bloody head. Enough. You will tell me every operational detail of your mission. You will tell me. One way or another. Pull your head out of your arse, man. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Your choice is simple. You may choose to tell me exactly what I want to know, freely and without omission. In which case, you and your friend will return to France to live out the rest of your lives in peace. Sure. Or you may refuse. Are you there? I'm right beside you, Jules. In which case, neither of you will ever leave this room. Make your choice. Now. Go fuck yourself! The interrogation will continue when I return.
Now we're in business. Der Zukunftsmarsch ist fast beendet. Wir sollten in kurzer den Test verupen. <lacht> Die Deppen würden nicht wissen, was los ist, bis es zu spät ist. Ja, ich auch. Ich hab keine mehr. Dann hol Welke. Jetzt. Oder du kannst eine Vokalatrin in Dienst haben.
madness. All these soldiers can't be after me. Something's going down. Something big. It's an invasion force. God help us all. Those bastards started a war. You Italian pig! I didn't tell you to get up. Sean. <laughs> Veronique. Where is she? Through that door. <laughs> Hurry! Wiedersehen. Thank God you're unharmed, child. Thanks, Sean. They would have burned me alive. These men were Gestapo. What are they doing here? Dierker sent them. Dierker? Oh my God. Where is my brother? Where is Jules? away from me this is your fault you took him to that place Jules. we can't stay here more Germans will come looking for these where will we go west it's our only chance right to Paris, then. We'll get you home. Let's go.